We're gonna be tying the version of a sylvanator that I fish. Brian Sylvie is a genius when it comes to fish, or when it comes to flies and catching fish. This is a size large hot pink hook guide. This tube is actually the Sync 2. I don't know if it makes much of a difference, but that's what I'm gonna tie it on today. This is a just 10 aught pink thread. Your thread color doesn't matter. This is Viva's 10 aught in pink. Everything's gonna get covered up. I just trim it off right at the back of the hair on the tail. And then I just trim one shorter than the other, about a quarter of an inch. Come on, separate. Okay. So that's done. Next is gonna be some MFC ostrich in purple. I just grab like eight of them, maybe 10, maybe six, depends on what happens that day. I'm in on one side, cut off the excess. Try to have it right about like that. So it comes just to where the rabbit is, a little shorter. Eight again, ish. Diamond. Ah, I'm like losing everything on that side. Let's do that again. Price is averted. Okay, so we've got ostrich on each side. Might be eight, might be ten, might be six on one side. Who knows? And then I take some of the Nature Spirit Fish Hunter Spay Marabou in bright purple. Tie the tip in, fold it back. Try to isolate that tip back out. Trim the tip off. Run your scissors down the one, the far side. You want three-ish wraps. Like so. Fold your tip back, do some wraps on it, trim it off. Cool, done with that. Next is some pink silver pheasant, and I've already prepped this one where I've folded them back. I always like to leave a little bit of bare stem on the top part of it or the far side. Just makes the collar look nice. that tip, trim, run your scissors down the far side again, grab your hack of pliers, whichever one's your pulling, get everything to lay back, trim your stem out, And then take your favorite super glue, run it on your thread, get a nice little bead, but make sure your marabou, like this one right here, is, doesn't get trapped in it. Just trim your thread off, that part's done. And then I like to take, I like to use the little disc for this, and I get it on the tube before I do this part. I put bead on each side, top and bottom, slowly push it down, press fairly hard, and literally your fly is done. Again, take the toothbrush, get the silver pheasant feathers kind of broken up and living in their own home. I forgot from the razor blade at home. So we're gonna do that and just melt that down. Take your bodkin after you melt it down because I forgot my lighter too. Just run it in there like that. 
put a hook in the back and go. That's it for that. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Get out and go enjoy some fishing.